morning. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me talk about interactive video. I'm going to do a short, hopefully succinct presentation to explain what interactive video is and how it can genuinely help enormously within talent attraction. So uh, I'm going to focus, most of this will be talking about actually showing you examples. As a two minute introduction, it's worth saying where the problems are. So the problems are we work in a very, very competitive market at the moment. There's a very small amount of difference between organisations. There's very, it's very hard to differentiate one offering from another offering. Now, video is the future of communication. Uh, you get much greater engagement from it. Uh, visitors stay longer on site. You get greater recollection. You get greater sharing. Um, but the problem with video is that it's very expensive. It takes a long time to produce. It's often not very specific. And frankly, it's now difficult to stand out because everybody's doing video. That's where interactive video comes in because we have a or rather you have an opportunity now probably for the next 24 or 36 months to be at the cutting edge of talent attraction and that's what makes this exciting in 36 months time everybody will be doing interactive video right now it's new and it's exciting and the other benefit is that again the way that i describe this is that it's something that the job description hasn't changed in 20 years. Often it's death by bullet point. This is a way to genuinely bring what you have to life. Now, the best thing I can do is actually show you what interactive video is and how it works. So I'm going to flip onto this tab. This is the Stars Group, Poke Stars, a huge organization looking to hire 500 developers in Sofia, Bulgaria. Now, if I run this forward, I've deliberately muted uh, the sound so that I can talk over it. Very standard, talking heads video, nothing particularly exciting until we get to this point. So, and I'm deliberately showing this one as a great example. Normal talking heads video, but I've paused it and you can click into the video. So actually, if I'm interested in the software developer role, I can click and I can find out more about the role. Now, what this does is it provides that level of interactivity. So if I'm not interested, I don't have to click on it. And equally, if I'm interested in the other role, I can click on the other role. And that's what makes this exciting, is you're able to embed an interactive experience in what would otherwise be a very linear video. And throughout this, you've got calls. So here's your software de de developer job description. You can click out directly to apply. So this, all of this has got calls to action. And this is why the return on investment is so high because actually it does something. So I'm going to show you a few more examples. So I'll just let this run on a little while. What I won't do is I won't ask you to sit through the whole video. So I'm going to click forward a few places throughout the video just so we can get to uh, the bits and pieces. Again, a you know, well shot, professional, but standard talking head video. Now, this is another really interesting feature of interactive video. The organization was really, really keen on bringing women into software development. So I'll pause the video here. Now, what you can do with interactive video is again, you can embed video within video. And I'm going to mute this, there we go. So if you are a woman in software development, this is absolutely essential information for you. But if you're a man, it has no relevance. So rather than force people to watch something or do sort of a mishmash, what you have here is the ability to embed video in video, and it is fantastic for things like diversity, for adding richness to a video, but you're not forced to watch it. So again, you can talk about the team structure, you can embed anything you can imagine, you can embed within the video. Now again, so you don't watch the whole video, there's bits and pieces of what experience will I need, and again, you can embed information within the video. I'm going to show you two other quick examples within this video before I move on. So this is Sofia. So the location is Sofia in Bulgaria. Now, what's really, really interesting that we found that they had two audiences. People who lived in Sofia already knew about Sofia, so they didn't need extra information. If you didn't live in Sofia, we can embed information about the office. Now, this is fantastic. This is a live Google map. 
And you can see I'm able to scroll in, scroll out. I can start to look around and find out a really good, you can provide commuter information. And we found this was absolutely valued by people who didn't live in Sofia. So to be able to embed this type of information, commuting, etc., cetera, um, location information is enormously valuable. So I think the final one that I'm going to show you within the example of this video is, again, you can see more of the Sophia office. Now I'm pausing it, obviously you would normally let this run. Um, you can see more of the Sophia office. So again, I can start to embed a slideshow within the video. And so I can start again, you're not forced to use it, but if you want to, you can start to embed richer information within the video. Now, that in a nutshell is the principle behind an interactive video. If you can imagine it, if you want to enrich an experience, you can add it in here. So we've got everything from social events to training to examples to direct application. Now, I'm very conscious I've got only 15 minutes, so I'm going to show you two other examples of how interactive video can be used. Now, this is an example for British Telecom. Now, the design of the video, not my, not my particular style in terms of personally how they designed it, they wanted to do sort of a, a your first day at BT. Now, what's interesting is the way they've shot it, so again, but what they want to do is an overview of every department within BT. So this is fantastic. She hands you the map, the map becomes, I'll pause it here, an interactive area. So I can click and I can find out information about any given area within BT. So again, it adds that it means that if you're not interested in something, you don't have to read about it. But if you are, you can find out more information. If I restart the video, all being well, there we go. Where's my play button? There we are. So what they do now is they do a virtual walk around the office. So I am interested in cybersecurity, for example. So I can then play the cybersecurity video. But if I'm not interested in it, I don't have to sit and watch it. So I'll let this run on for a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. There's then a way, right, say hello to someone who works in the contact center. And again, I'm not interested in this, so I won't find out more about it. Here's somebody who works in the tech team. Ah, oh, fantastic. I'm really interested in this so I can find out more about the tech team. Okay, I'll click on now and find out about the digital and marketing team. And again, you can recognize this in the way that it's a slideshow and text to add in richness. And again, you can put in whatever it is you want, but it's all about making this an interactive experience. And again, I won't show you the whole of this video because I'm conscious of time, but it's the same principle. You walk around and it's a virtual introduction to the entire set of teams within, in this case, British Telecom. So that's another really, really strong use of interactive video. So you can put in bits and pieces that you are interested in. Now, the final thing that I'm going to show you, again, some conscious of time, is this is where, so, so far we've taken a normal video and enriched it, added value to it, added information that the candidate might want to watch. This is where we take it on to the next level. Now can make sure so that's muted. This is where it can become a quiz. So you can start off and I'm going to scroll it forward a little bit. Okay, sorry, I'm scrolling forward one place. So there's a there's the initial introduction and then you're given a quiz. So what is your area of marketing? Now, this is brilliant because it means you can effectively create 20 videos and an interactive journey within a single video. So I work within digital performance. Super. So I'll listen to the gentleman talk all about digital performance, et cetera, et cetera. I'll scroll it forward a little bit so you're not saying there's a brilliant. So now you, can, you are given an opportunity to apply directly to the job. The question is complete. So I can go back to the same question if I want to and find out about something else, or I'm going to go on to the next question. And my next question is, what's your level of experience? So again, all of a sudden within one video, I can create a unique journey, one that goes from what's my area of expertise through to what's my level of experience. Now I'm a team leader, for example, and I can read, uh, I can watch and find out information about team leadership. So again, you've got a full journey within a single video. And it means that everybody 
experiences an entirely unique, unique video that they can tailor to themselves. And this whole thing goes, I'll go to the next question. I won't show you too many more questions. There we go. So it talks about, are you a poker player? And I can answer this question. It talks about what matters to you in a working environment. So again, the candidates can choose what matters to them. Now, hopefully this gives you a lightning tour of interactive video. The technology is very complex, but the principles are very simple. If you can imagine something, it can be done within interactive video. Now, I will finish with two questions that we get asked on a regular basis. The first one is, where can it work? How does it work? Well, here is an example. It can anywhere you can embed HTML you can put an interactive video. So this is John Lewis, one of the largest retailing groups in the UK. This is their interactive video embedded within their career site. And it can embed at this size. I can also, I won't take it out because it will mess my screen share up, but I can also embed it out to a larger size as well. So you can embed it within job boards. You can embed it within LinkedIn. You can embed it within Facebook. You can embed it within Twitter. You can embed it within your website. So it's fully, um, Embeddable, that's probably a good word. Final thing I will show is the analytics side of things. Now, this is where I get very, very excited because you get all of the analytics about a video, much as you'd expect to get from good video analytics anyway. But you also get analytics about the interactive elements. Now, we found, we didn't expect this, but we found clients start to use this as a way of understanding what parts of the job candidates care about. Because not only do you understand what interactive bits have been opened and then followed through, but you can suddenly something, oh, it appears that our candidates care an awful lot more about our opportunities for training than they care about our benefits, or they care a lot more about our corporate social responsibility than they care about the office location. And this is a brilliant way because you understand how a candidate actually engages with your message. Whereas in a normal video or in a normal advert, you have absolutely no idea because it's a single chunk of text, a single image. So I hope that gives you a guide to interactive video. Um, finish with some very quick stats. Um, just in terms of success, it, it's incredible. It's genu genuinely, it's incredible. We've seen a 64% increase in application rate after adding high, uh, high cost interactive video to a job campaign. We've seen a 51% increase in candidates that come from social media, a 20% increase in positive view of the employer brand. This is really, really interesting because lots of companies talk about being innovative, about being open, about being forward thinking. This is actually being that. This is the one of the areas where you can walk the walk as well as do the talking. So it has a massive positive effect on employer brand and employer perception. And also 90% of candidates recalled at least two parts of the video when they went through to interview. So again, it's something that's really, really highly engaging. Um, I hope that is of great interest. If anybody is interested, by all means, you've got details uh, within information that you've been sent or hirecast.co.uk. I hope that's interesting. I'm really excited about this. It's about a 36 month window before this becomes commonplace. Right now, it's a chance to absolutely lead the market. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much indeed for your time.